Hi, I'm Dave from Hardy Scale Models, and this is the final part of my video build of the 1 to 70 second scale of Fairy Gannet. Um, the, this one's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would do to build, just mainly due to time. Uh, but this video is going to show the, the final stages, the, uh, the smaller parts being fitted, um, the weathering, uh, the decals, and uh, then I've got a few photos of the finished model to show you. Um, so, Thank you very much to everybody who's watched the video uh, or watched the videos for the, for the, for this build. Uh, it's very much appreciated. They've, I've had a few comments from people there which are very, very kind and very, very nice to receive. So thank you very much for that. Um, I'm going to post another video in a, in a few days time just to show the things that I'm planning on working on in 2022. Um, gonna, I'm going to do one large build, which probably take me a few months to do and just do smaller ones as I'm going along with that one. Um, but I'll post a video about that uh, later this week. But uh, a massive thank you for everybody who's watched and uh, enjoy the video. And I, I hope you like the, the final model. Thanks very much. Bye. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, sort of final gloss coats on, uh, we can get the decals on the model. And obviously that'll uh, reduce the silvering effect underneath the, the film of the decal. Uh, so just dropping it out onto some warm water and then carefully obviously slide it onto the model itself. And what I normally do as well, I've used a, a, a solution called Micro Set just to paint it onto the wing first before I put the decal down, which will help it stick. And then just get a little bit more of the Micro Set and just rub it in very, very gently into the uh, decal, uh, which will allow you to move it into position exactly where you need it. Um, and then once it's in position, uh, just dry it out with um, a cocktail stick. Sorry, not a cocktail stick, what am I talking about? You don't use cocktail sticks because you rip it to pieces, obviously. You use a cotton bud, as you can see here, I don't know what I'm talking about. And just make sure you get any bubbles out, any crum crumples out, just make sure it's nice and flat. And then once all the decals are done, I then use Micro Sol, uh, paint a little coat onto that uh, now, and then you just leave it. And that'll really draw the decal down into the detail on the model, and it'll make it look painted on, not uh, stuck on. Uh, but a good bit of advice that I was always given is once you've put the Micro Sol on, don't touch the decal, because it will rip. Okay, so just finishing the decals there now, and it, everything's been coated in Microsol. So we'll leave it for a few hours uh, before doing anything else to it now. And what we're going to start is some of the weathering processes. Um, so the first thing I'll normally do is put in a panel line accent, um, which is from Tamien. It's a dark brown one. Now, as you've seen in the previous video, we've already um, pre shaded the model, painted it, and then did a bit, of, a bit of post shading to make some of the areas of the aircraft look bleached from the sun, that sort of thing. Um, what this does is it really emphasizes the panel lines themselves uh, because dirt, grime, oil, whatever does accumulate in the, in, in the aircraft. And you can see the panel lines stand out when you, when you see the aircraft for real. So we just tap this uh, solution into the panel line very gently. And as you can see, the capillary action takes over because it's been clear coated and it runs along the, the length of the panel lines and you just work your way around and just touch up the areas that you think need to be touched up. Um, wings, uh, joints, obviously in recesses, uh, for the, uh, the undercarriage bays as well. And obviously not forgetting the top as well. Now the top is um, obviously a dark grey. So what I'm using here is a dark grey panel line. It's still the Tamiya one. Uh, and then once we're finished, get a cotton bud and dip it in some enamel thinners, draw off the excess, and then just go across the panel lines at 90 degrees to wipe off the excess, which should just leave the panel lines nice and neat. Um, as you can see, it's probably easy to see here on the light green color. And then this is the effect we're going for. As you can see here now, all the panel lines are standing out a little, and all the excess and overrun has been wiped off. Now it's on to the uh, sort of smaller finishing details of the model. So there's uh, some clear plastic parts for lights along the wings, um, which now go on with uh, the clear ones go in the middle, and then obviously you've got green and red on the sort of opposite wing tips. Um, so just get those painted up, leave them for a few hours again, uh, and then attach them to the model. Very small fiddly parts. Um, and I've I've actually I've actually lost one of the parts of the undercarriage from this model, uh, which unfortunately pinged off my ply, uh, pliers when I was picking it up, and I've absolutely no idea where it's gone. Never never to be seen again. Um. So yeah, just getting all those on, 
add them onto the wings and then we start to work on the rest of the model so starting to work on the undercarriage and starting to work on the propellers to get the final touches on the model so the propeller itself is quite fiddly uh, it's a double propelled aircraft it's very unusual um, so you've got two banks of four propellers to stick in on top of each other and instructions said to do it in two separate parts and putting together i actually found it to build it up as you went so we'll start from the bottom and then just build up and up and drop each layer on top and it just made it easier to manage uh, so the using the tamiya cement here and just getting everything in everything's pre-painted uh, which i did off camera um, and then when you're happy you can finish it with the spinner the red spinner that goes on the top and which you can see on the bottom edge below my hand um, and then when you get that on just uh, seal it all up a little touch of paint a uh, little touch of glue sorry and that's the propeller all done Uh, now the undercarriage and for this I tend to use super glue um, just because it's it, it it's quick bonding and if it does snap obviously that if you snap anything the model tends to be smaller parts undercarriage that sort of thing if it does snap the super glue it'll just it'll just snap off quickly it won't destroy the piece if you've but sort of bonded it together with their uh, sort of uh, Tamiya cement um, so yeah just using super glue uh, and the super glue I use is zapper gap uh, which you can also use for filling small gaps in the uh, model as well and just putting everything in um, using the tweezers where I need to and then uh, once I've secured in the carriage with super glue there I've just used a little bit of tamiya cement just to hold the smaller pieces in place which are being placed in and around the uh, struts and then there's a couple of pitot tubes to fit on the underside of the uh, rear elevators which I'm doing here now um, thankfully these didn't ping off the uh, pliers and disappear um, very small parts and actually found it easy to cut them off the sprue rather than snip them off um, putting the tyres on putting the uh, undercarriage doors on um, again for these I'm using super glue um, just to hold it in place immediately and give it a nice strong bond and here you can see the super glue I'm applying with a cocktail stick just very gently um, making sure I don't spill it everywhere, making sure I don't get it on the rest of the model. Um, and this works a treat, yeah, it's uh, it's much better than trying to use the cement or certainly using um, the sort of slower bonding glues. So we're down to the final few parts now, and this uh, model kit comes with uh, quite exaggerated um, underwing flaps, um, which on this aircraft had four. So I've left these to last because the, the actual connection pieces for this are extremely thin and quite weak, so I didn't want to break them. So as you can see there, there's each piece has got two arms, so I've used super glue to connect those into place, and I've left them till almost to last. Uh, and then the final stage, the very last piece I put on was the uh, prop shaft, the propeller, uh, which is going on now. And for that, I just used Tamiya cement. So that's model complete. And now I'm going to uh, show some photographs of the finished model. And thank you very much for watching. Um, the comments have been great. The number of subscribers has gone up and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, and I do love doing these videos. So uh, here we go. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.